So in this episode, I want us to work on these images part right here. If we come to this one, which is complete, uh, you'll see that we have two sections for the image. We have this one here, where we can even click different uh, colors for the image. And we have this one that is showing the selected image. I'll just minimize this one here. And from here, I'll just close this and we can create a new component. I'll do it at app components products. So I add a new file and I can say product image here, product images or image dot T S S X hit enter here. We'll have state trace functional component and I'll say product image. And here for now we can just say div and I click save. So again, this will be a client component. So use client. One thing that I can tell you is that when you create a component like this and hook it to a, another component that is already labeled as client component, uh, that component will directly be considered as a client component. But I just like to include uh, use client to any client component but uh, it is not mandatory for each component. So if the parent is a client component, then the child will be considered a client component as well. So this will receive several props. And for that, let's define the types for those props. I'll create an interface here and we'll say product image props. And here we'll have cut products or rather cut product. It's a single product. And we pass the type for this product cut product type this one here and it's auto imported from our product details awesome then here we will have the actual product okay we didn't define the types for the actual product because the type will be coming from prisma so in this case i can just say any any type and i'll fix it later when we create the prisma types and the prisma data models so here we'll be passing a function handle uh, color select so remember when we select a different image we are selecting a different image with a different color so i'll pass this function which will help us to switch between the images and it will receive a value of the selected image type this one here but it will return void so here we return nothing like that i save let's hook that here we use angle brackets and I'll pass our product image props like that. And here we should destructure them. So I destructure cut product, I destructure product, I destructure handle color select and save. Cool. Now we can make use of these props that we get here to render our images. So if we check at this, we have this section and this section. So first of all, this will be the wrapper div and we can use CSS grid. We will display grid. We'll have a grid calls of six and then we will have a gap of two. We'll have h full max hyphen h of 500 px and mean hyphen h of 300 px on small screen the mean hyphen h 400 px so here we have six columns that we are creating but we'll give this to occupy more columns than this okay so this is the wrapper div let's have here two divs now the first div will be this one the second div will be this image now let's tell this first section where we have different images so we add a class name, uh, we display flex for that and the flex direction will be column. Items will be at the center. So items hyphen center, justify center gap of four. Casa will be pointer. We'll have a border H will be full and let's have max hyphen h uh, actually i'll just go ahead and copy all this and replace here okay 
cool inside here here we will display different images i use the curly brackets so i can say product dot images and then dot map i invoke that and we pass an arrow function here that will return a div and for this arrow function we will get an image at a time so i say image selected image type right here we will display the image component from next js from next image here it expects several crops src we will say that the image dot image we also need to have an alt and we can give the alt to be the image color so image dot color okay i'll say fill here and i'll add a class name and this class name will be object contain and i save to auto format everything and for this div we should be having a key and the key can be image dot color also we'll be having more properties we'll be having the on click event so when we click on the image we will be changing something and here we will simply call our handle color select and we pass the image in there just like we did with our colors here awesome now i will be adding several class names here so class name now this is the wrapper for our image so i'll say here relative and then we will have width hyphen to be 80 percent so this means that it will not touch the walls for this border it will be somewhere in here this is a custom one so make sure to wrap it we'll have an aspect ratio of square it will be rounded we'll go with the default then we have a border for it and it will be till uh, hyphen 300 and now uh, right here i'll change this to back tick so that i can conditionally render this okay so i have added this curry brackets and the back ticks here so for the selected image then we will show this greenish border or tail border else we will show nothing okay here now i raise the money sign and i'll say cut product and dot selected img and then dot color so if this selected color is equal to the current image dot color then what we will do is to dynamically show the border so here will show border to be 1.5 px will do else i use a full colon then we'll have border to be none and i save so we have completed this first part here this one here but we also have this one here which shows this particular image so for now i think we can hook this to our product details and see if it will show anything so here we had these images so i will remove that and i can say product image component i click that auto import and we close it it will expect us to pass several props we have cut product so we pass cut product also we have the product itself and we give it the product itself and then finally we also have handle color select and we give it handle color select so this function is the one that we also created area right here when we were working with our colors since it's receiving the same details and it will be able to change the image accordingly so i save and this is our component there so if we check here look we now already have this we can select this we can select this we can select this we are able to show the different images awesome now we just need to show the selected image right here as a bigger image so we will do that in here in this second div i'll start by adding a class name we'll span the image through five columns so we'll say call span hyphen five and then we'll say relative and then we'll set the aspect ratio of square so in here we will now make use of the image component from next so image it will be self-closing it expects us to pass several props so first of all i'll say fill and i'll set a class name here 
uh, width will be full can hit enter so that I include more then height will be full then object will be contain then uh, I'll come right here I'll select all this I'll copy and I'll paste them here awesome so those are the classes we can include SLC so here we'll show the selected image and that will come from our cut product remember cut product is our state so cut product dot selected img then dot im dot image then we can have an alt cut product dot name the name of the product i save and now this is our component and once i save it should show here right there like that full image awesome that's really nice because i think we have completed that component and if i expand look we have an entire full image right here i can switch the color from here i can switch the color from here really nice right so that is it for this episode and in the next episode i'll complete this page by showing the reviews at the bottom here so i'll see you in the next one